talking to Mark Norfolk, who's the CEO of Fabrisonic. And you are based where, Mark? We're in Columbus, Ohio, so not too far away. Uh, tell me a little bit about what your company does. Yeah, we're doing metal additive manufacturing, but a little bit different take. So a lot of companies are taking powder and melding them. We're taking thin foils of metal, and we're actually welding them together with a solid state process, which means there's no melting. So this part never saw above, say, 200F. Um, from a metallurgy standpoint, I'm a metallurgist, um, when you don't heat up a metal, um, you don't wipe out all the properties that you try and get from the mill. Okay. Um, so we're able to get much better metallurgical properties right out of the right out of the bat. Um, so like better density, better? Uh, we're 100% density, um, okay. but more from a, a material strength standpoint. Okay. Our parts coming out are the same as the material that went in. Okay. So whatever feedstock you bring in, that's the same material properties that you get out. So um, do you pre-cut the layers to the shape? No. Nope. You want each layer to be in? We actually uh, use rolls of one inch wide foil and we lay layers just like bricks in a brick laying pattern okay. um, to build up a three dimensional shape. So all of our material comes in as one inch and we build it up side by side to make larger three dimensional parts. So then do you have to go in and eliminate or cut away? Yep. Um, so you are doing subtractive on top of your additive. Yeah. Well, why, why do it that way? So all our machines are actually start off as three axis CNC mills. So we're actually buying three axis mills right off right off the commercial space so we're not reinventing the motion system we bring the three axis mill in and our welding technology goes in as another tool in the tool changer so anybody who has a CNC mill can buy our head bolt that in and all automatically they have an additive manufacturing system um, with the CNC we use the additive to get near net shape and the CNC to get final net shape and because we're using the CNC we can get the surface finish the accuracy that you would expect from a CNC part what do you actually call your process then um, our process is called ultrasonic additive manufacturing. Uh, what kind of parts is this ideal for? Because yeah. as you know, different kinds of parts lend themselves to different kinds of Certainly. processes. Yeah. So what kind of um, part is ripe for yeah. your technology? Our, our number one product category is heat exchangers. Because okay. we can combine aluminum, copper, steel all in the same part, we can make lightweight, uh, high energy density heat exchangers. Um, complicated inter dissimilar metals. metals. Uh -huh. um, the second product category I'd say is embedded electronics. We do a lot of work with taking a solid metal block and bearing inside it electronic devices for measuring strain, damage tolerance, health monitoring, those type of things. Uh, the final is, is actually custom materials. So I mentioned we can combine dissimilar materials. This is an example uh, of an armor product. Okay. Um, it's layers of aluminum and titanium. Um, and by combining those layers, you can make a material with brand new material properties. Well, congratulations. It sounds really interesting. And I wish you the best of luck. And it uh, sounds very cool. Thank you very so thank much. Thank you for your time. I appreciate it.